nation called black people in the nation in the Bible. But the Bible is written from front to back. It tells you about the beginning of the world and the end of the world. So where would you fit in the Bible? Like where can you read about your people in the Bible? At the end of the world. All throughout the Bible. I'm, I'm, can, can I show you really quickly? I'm going to show you how you met link up with the Bible. Now you say you're so-called African American. That means that if you're African American, is, are you saying that your ancestors came over here on a slave ship? You don't know, you don't know how you got to America? You're not sure? Come on, bro. Uh, uh, what school you go to? Okay, but you don't know how your people got to America. To so slave trade, right? Same as mine, right? Let's check this out. I'm gonna show you that in the Bible, right? Watch this. We're gonna show you who you are in the Bible, according to the Bible. Check this out. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. The Bible says the Lord is gonna bring these people into Egypt again. But they're going to go by ship this time. What's going on, sister? How you doing, sister? How you doing? You all right? Do you, you believe in the Bible? You Muslim? Do you believe in the Bible? I mean, yeah, we have to believe in the Bible. Oh, really? Were you, you, um, you in a hurry? Uh, yeah, I got to what, what, what nationality are you? Uh, I was born here. My family's from Gambia. Gambia? Okay. Um, you may be an Israelite, according to the Bible. What, um, what tribe? Sorry, King. One more, one more. Mandinka, 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 that sounds familiar. I, I, I'm not sure if they, do y'all do, um, do y'all um, observe um, circumcision for the males? Do they circumcise their men? You don't think so? Okay, just remember that the Bible is, is, is based on the Israelites according to the Bible. The Bible is about the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American people of Negro and indigenous descent. We are the chosen people of the Most High God. And, uh, and we're, we're also in parts of Africa, too, because that's where they stole us from. But the, we're, we're called Jews, according to the Bible. Let's check out our YouTube. Leave, comment, like, share, subscribe. Leave some comments on there. Check it out. Yeah. And, my bad, Ken. Check this out. We're going to show you who you are, according to the Bible. See if you can identify with what's going on. The Bible said that these people are going to go back into Egypt again, but they're going to go back by ship. Do you know anything about the Bible? It's okay if you don't. Okay, so the Israelites, that's what the Bible is about, the Israelites and their God, right? Moses told the Israelites, if they break God's commandments, if they don't do what he says, he's going to send them back into slavery, which is Egypt, but he's going to send them into slavery by ship, right? Check this out. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships into Egypt again with ships, right? That's a big part of it, right? Because when you look on the back of your dollar bill, don't you see a pyramid on there? Pyramids is synonymous with Egypt, right? But why we come to America and they got pyramids on the back of an American dollar? Because this is synonymous with Egypt too, meaning slavery. The Israelites were in slavery in Egypt, in Africa, right? Moses brought them out. He parted the Red Sea, you remember that story, right? Okay, and, and after they came out, Moses said, if you break the commandments, the Lord gonna send you back into Egypt, but this time you won't go by ship. By the way thereof, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Your homeland, you never gonna see it again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Now, when your people and my people got off them slave boats, right? You see that slavery? That's how they, they had them uh, people look like us, right? When they got off them slave ships, who was we sold to? Hold again, hold. You ain't got to whisper it. They know it. They'll tell you. <laughs> to, the to the white people, right? right? We were sold to the white people. What, what, what the Bible say again? You shall be sold to, unto your enemy. I mean, the white people. Your enemy. The Bible don't say you're white people. We call them your enemies, my brother. He called a white man your enemy. That's who you were sold to. For bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody's going to help you. Nobody's going to get you out of that slavery, right? No, has anybody come to get us out of slavery? No, right? That, what we're trying to show you is just that one verse shows you who the Israelites are in the Bible. Because if you ask people around, they say there's 10 lost tribes of Israel, right? 10 lost tribes. There, there's the people that are lost and they're Israelites. Nobody knows who they are. But according to the Bible, we understand who they are. They're the people that went on the slavery by ship. 
like your, your people did and my people did. So in other words, I'm trying to show you that you're an Israelite. You. What you looking down for? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you are an Israelite, my brother. You know what I mean? I mean, we are Israelites. So with us being Israelites, the Lord expects certain things of us. He can give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, and then we'll jump down to 9. Watch this. I'm not telling you that you're an Israelite for no reason. Because you came and told me that you was black or African American, right? But the Bible calls you an Israelite. I told you that black is, is just a description, right? You're not that color. You can't go to the land of black. There's no place called black, right? You're not black. You're really an Israelite. Everybody else, they call themselves white, but they can say, hey, my, but my, my, my ancestors go back to France or, or Spain or Portugal or Germany or Greece, but you say I'm black, where your ancestors from? I don't know, somewhere in Africa, I think. You know what I mean? That is because you are an Israelite indeed, my brother. Because the Bible says that you wouldn't go back to your homeland, you're gonna go into slavery by ship, and nobody's gonna rescue you. Didn't that happen to us? Ain't we still here? Nobody came to get us, did it? You're an Israelite, check this out. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Right. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You are a holy people unto the Lord your God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Lord our God chose us to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people. We're not supposed to be side by side equal to. We are above all people. Ain't that right, my friend? My friend. He came up in, in, in fellowship with us before, didn't he? Hey, my friend. He like, who your friend? Hey, he right, too. Hey, yo. Hey. Peace out. Hey, do you agree with me? Come on up in there, because this is the second time we've seen you been over here before. Huh? You don't agree with the Bible? Do you agree with the Bible, Esau? Do you agree with the Bible, Esau? Still doing it again. We did this last time. No. You don't agree with the Bible? Wait, we know you, we, we understand why you don't. Can you give me Psalm 55 and uh, 16, or is it 50 and 16? 50, yeah. 50 yeah. and 16? You don't agree with the Bible, you saw? You don't mind if I visit No, I don't, we don't mind, we don't mind. No, ain't no big deal. What you gonna do with it? You don't mind me asking? I, I just... You just like the video tape? Interesting things. Say it again. Interesting things. Interesting things, okay. You record niggas when you book, when you see them, just put a phone out on Check this out. Bring it out, huh? 16, right? But unto the wicked, God has said. Unto who? Unto the wicked, God has said. Uh -huh. What has thou to declare my statue? What do you got to do to declare his statue? And that thou should have taken my covenant in thy mouth. That's what the Lord said. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't agree with the Bible because you wicked. That's what the Bible said. Did you know that? Uh, let me finish with you, King. So, uh, you, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta ask me permission to record oh, okay. uh, uh, my, my man, my man. Anyway, you are an Israelite. And so let's get back to 7 and 6, my bad. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, right? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. He chose you, us, he chose us to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth upon uh, above some people above all people that are upon the face of the earth above all people on the face of the earth so before he gave us the commandments and, and, and he said hey look you a special people i chose you to be better than everybody on the whole earth right but and then later on he gave us some commandments he said now in order for you to be my child you got to keep the commandments Right? You gotta keep the command. We broke the commandments, therefore we went into slavery. Right? Hold on. Verse 9. No, therefore that the Lord thy God, your God, he is God, uh -huh. the faithful God. The faithful God. Which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments. It said, Your God is a faithful God, and he'll keep the agreement. If we keep his commandments, he's gonna be he gonna put us on top of everybody. If we keep his commandments. He's faithful to do that if we keep his commandments, right? To a thousand generations. Forever, right? And repay of them that hate him to their faith. Anybody that hate him, that say, oh, I ain't gonna keep, I ain't gonna do that. 
You know what I mean? He said, I'm going to pay you back to your face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay him to his face. The Lord said, hey, anybody that hate him, he going to pay you back. He going to get you. And you going to see it. You going to know it. You understand? So uh, do you know any commandments? That shall not steal. Honor your father and your mother, right? Thou shall not. Do you do any of these? Good. What's the number one commandment? What's the first commandment? Everybody should gotta do it. I'm, we gonna bring it. It's no big deal if you don't know it. You don't remember it. What's the most important commandment to you? That's the number one commandment. Yes, yes, yes. You have no other God before me. You understand? That's what he told us. Don't have nobody else before me, right? No other God before me. Now, a lot of people don't understand. Did you celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas? That you put another God before him, the white man. The white man gave you Christmas and Thanksgiving. Right. Now, Thanksgiving, right. we call it Thanksgiving. Look what they did to our brothers and sisters over here, the Native American, right? Look what they did to them. That's what they did, and then they celebrated it and called it Thanksgiving. So these are children of the Most High God. You got some Indian in your family? Your mama and grandma may never say, yeah, my grand your grandmama, she was a Cherokee or whatever. I know in my family, everybody's, you know what I mean? But anyway, we these are our brothers and sisters. So when you celebrate Thanksgiving, you celebrating when the so-called white man destroyed your brothers and sisters. Would you do that? Do you got a brother and sister right now? If a, if a dude, how would forbid, right? Scenario, if somebody came up and did something real wrong to your, kid, your, your family members, and then, they made a memorial about every year they celebrate killing your brothers and sisters. Would you celebrate that? Like your brother and sister right now, whoever they are. I got four sisters, three sisters. If somebody killed my sister, would I have a party about it every year? No, right? So you gotta wake up, King. Just wake up, man. They got you celebrating uh, uh, wickedness. You putting the white man, he's your God. You understand? Same thing for Christmas. You had something, King? Jeremiah 10. Same thing for Christmas. The Lord gave the Israelites, us, he gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Don't eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You eat pork? I try not to. Don't ever eat it, man. That's a sin. The Lord will kill you pork. You understand? Now that you now you know. Don't ever eat pork. Don't eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. We're going to get to it. Check this out. This is about the holidays. I'm going to let you go. I ain't going to keep you too long. I know you got your food with you. Give me, just bear with me. Just another minute. Because this is something that you need to know. We're trying to save your life, King. Straight up. This is Jeremiah 10, starting from the top, verse yes, 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Everybody. O house of Israel. He talking to the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man of Negro and indigenous descent, us. Thus saith the Lord, huh? learn not the way of the heathen. He said, don't do what the heathen do. Don't learn what they do. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't worry about your uh, horoscope and... Pisces and air, don't do that. For the heathen are dismayed at them, right? For the customs of the people are vain. He said, what they do is vain. Their, their traditions, their holidays, that's vain. It means it's worthless. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. They do what? One cut up a tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The work of the hands of the workmen with the act. Right. They deck it with silver and gold. You know anybody that cut a tree out the forest? and then deck it with silver and gold. You never seen that? Keep on going on. Let's see if you can understand in a second. They fasten it with nails and hammers that it move not. So somebody goes in a forest, they take a tree, chop it down. Then they put silver and gold on it. And then they nail it so it don't move. Excuse me. They nail it so it don't move. You ever seen anybody do that? Christmas tree, look, right behind you. They see that window? That's what they did. The Bible talking about that. The Bible's a book of prophecy. It, it, it comes to life when you understand it. Understand? So, so the Lord said, don't do this. Don't do that. You understand? He's talking about Christmas. Don't do, don't celebrate what they do. Stop celebrating Christmas, King. Right now, we're in um, a holy day. See, they got holidays, which is fake. It's, it's the offspring of this offshoot <laughs> of what we got. We got real holy days, right? right? We're, we're celebrating our holy day right now for eight days. You heard of Hanukkah? Hanukkah is about you. It's about your ancestors. You thought it was about the white people that call themselves Jews, right? Did, did you know you're a Jew? 
you're the real Jew. You're really a Jew. You heard Christ, did you, did you know Christ is black? You did? You sure? Okay, well, Christ celebrated what we call Hanukkah. Can you that uh, John 10 and 22? Christ, but the other name for it is called the Feast of Dedication. That's what we're celebrating now. The, the Most High God gave us um, holy days that we are to celebrate instead of the, the, the white man's tradition. Because he's your oppressor. The Bible called him your enemy. He can't give you nothing good. Nothing good come from that white man. This is John 10 and 22, right? And it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication. The Feast of Dedication. And it was winter. Uh huh. And Yahawashai walked into the temple in Solomon's porch. So Christ was at the temple during the Feast of Dedication right now, and for eight days, it's so-called Hanukkah, or the Feast of Dedication. You supposed to be turning up, celebrating right now. You know what I mean? That's, this is our holy day. We don't worry about Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of that. We got Passover. That's something that you are, you have to keep. Back in the day, if you didn't keep it, you wouldn't be an Israelite no more. But, um, you know what I mean? Uh, I, don't, I don't touch on a lot of different points. Um, you said you know that Christ is black, now you know that you're an Israelite. You're a Jew, to be specific, right? You're a Jew, right? Um, can you give me Romans 3 and 31? Bible shot. You're a Jew. I'm bringing it home right here. Right here. I'm bringing it right home for you. I'm going to let you go. This is the most important thing you ever done learn in your life, man. Because the, you want to go to heaven, right? How do you get to heaven? Is heaven for everybody? Nah, who is it for? The people who do right. You, you halfway there, but you got to be an Israelite to start off. You can't get to heaven if you're not an Israelite in the first place. You happen to be an Israelite. Even though you going through life, I know you got it hard. We barely got enough money for this and that. We barely got gas money, food to eat. We don't know what's going on, the lights and all that. Christ said that when he comes, the kingdom is promised to you and I. You understand? To us. If we keep his commandments. Check this out. Three and thirty-one. What advantage can have to do three and one? Three and one. Yeah, one. All right, check this out. Yeah. This is Romans three, verse one. What advantage then have the Jew? He said, "What is, what what is there? What advantage is there to being a Jew? Since you're a Jew, what advantage do you have? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Uh -huh. Much every way, every way you got an advantage. Chiefly because that unto them were committed." The oracles of God. The word of God was given to the Jews. John uh, 4 and 22. God, and that's like, the word of God was given to the Jews. You happen to be a Jew. We're, this is the word for you. Get in your Bible and study it, man, and understand whenever it's talking about Israel, it's talking about us. I was told you I was going to show you who you are in the Bible. You are Israel. You are Judah. That's who you are. When you read them words in the Bible, know it's talking about our ancestors. Check this out. This is John 4 and 22, right? Ye worship, ye know not what. The Bible says you worship what you don't even know. Because you were celebrating Thanksgiving, Christmas, you don't even know what that is. That's wickedness. That's right. right? That's right. We know what we worship. We know what we worship. Now you know what you worship. For salvation is of the Jew. Salvation is what? Salvation it's is of, of the, Jews. the Jews. You gotta be a Jew. That's you right. understand? Right. And you know what I mean? And in a bigger, right. a bigger, bigger sense, you got to be an Israelite. But salvation is of the Jews because Christ was a Jew. Christ was a so-called black man. That's right. You understand? That's right. So uh, uh, I'm going to let you go on that, King. I know you, your food got a cold and all that probably. You know what I mean? Did you, uh, did you do the, um, did he do the scan? No. Can you, hey, scan this real quick, King. We'll give you some more understanding.